Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about riser issues when HiveOS is not showing one of your GPUs, even though it's plugged in, it's spinning, but it's not showing up in HiveOS. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe at the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, or if you want to buy yourself some GPUs or ASICs, such as S19s, S17s, 3080s, 3090s, uh, 3070s, 20, uh, 20 series, or 2000 series, 10, uh, 1000 series, and so on. And uh, we also uh, wanted to switch up the channel information a little bit. Um, in our description, we used to we had a uh, saying there that Bitcoin uh, saves your wealth and Jesus saves your soul. So we're going to be saying that in the beginning of all of our videos from now on. Um, we are Christians here at Crypto LLC, and I want to make sure that the world knows that that you know there's Bitcoiners out there that love to do mining, that love Bitcoin, that also love Jesus. So. From now on, we're going to be having that as our like catchphrase at Crypto LLC. So it goes like this. Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right. So anyway, back to risers. Here's what we had. We had our riser plugged in. It was working fine. Then after some time, um, the GPU just disappeared from Hive OS. When that happens, uh, we automatically assume that there's, you know, the GPU might have a problem. Maybe Hive OS lost it. Maybe there's an overclock. You know, we tried all those things and... Still, it's lost. It won't come back online. HiveOS is showing it's gone. It's just missing. Show up at the site. Take a look at the GPU. It's spinning. It's fine. Uh, it's got power. Everything. So first thing we try is we're like, all right, maybe maybe got a bit a little bit loose here. You know how it kind of might come off a little bit, even though it's not supposed to. It could. So we uh, unplug. You know, turn off the rig. Unplug the riser. Plug it back in. Kind of make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure this guy's nice and tight in the motherboard, and um, turn it on still same problem so all right next thing to try is uh try to clean the riser so we take off the riser we clean it with uh, some rubbing alcohol here and a toothbrush so we spray it on the riser spray it all around you know try to get rid of any particles or garbage or whatever maybe like a piece of metal fell and kind of shorting it whatever we tried that uh, also the back side we spray that as well plug it back in still same problem we do the we do the same thing uh, with this little riser here spray the rubbing alcohol on it and it still has the same problem so then last thing to try which was interesting because it's the first time I saw an issue like this where I was like alright maybe it's actually the USB cord itself now you can see it's nice and clean there's nothing wrong with it but we thought what if maybe inside it might have a bad contact so we sprayed the rubbing alcohol inside the USB, like inside of this right here. Both si both ends, sprayed it in there, cleaned it off with our toothbrush, and then bam, it came back online. So the GPU's back online. Very, very interesting that it wasn't the big riser, it wasn't the small riser, it was actually the cord. Um, also, if you're ever cleaning those things, make sure that your, if you're using a SATA power, make sure SATA power is fully plugged in. Make sure none of these cords came out a little bit. Sometimes maybe you're plugging it in and, and uh, one of the one of the uh, 12 volts comes out a little bit. The yellow is the power. So maybe the power came out a little bit so you're not getting power. But again, if you if, if that was the issue, if this was the issue, you'd probably see the GPU riser not turning on. So it's most likely not, but it's good to check. Maybe it's loose. Also check that this thing is fully plugged into SATA. Again, this was, this was not the issue. The issue for this situation was actually the USB cord. Now, after we spray it, we clean it with the toothbrush, we also use a compressor. So let me show you guys. So we use a compressor. This is our compressor from Milwaukee. It's a battery powered compressor. So after we uh, clean up the toothbrush, we also sp spray out, you know, get rid of all the uh, alcohol, spray it all away, get rid of all the dust and, you know, the garbage that might have uh, accumulated. So make sure you guys, uh, after you do that, you actually get rid of it with a compressor. So that fixed the issue, which was very interesting. Usually the issue, most of the time, is the riser just comes off a little bit, you know, kind of slants like a little bit down, and then the GPU starts glitching out and uh, shows errors. That's usually it, or usually we just spray it with some rubbing alcohol, plug it back in, and it's fine. So just letting you guys know a uh, interesting situation that fixed the problem. Uh, I'll be uh, doing that from now on because again, we, we pretty much never had that happen. It was usually always just these guys You know, we got we have so many GPUs we got like more than a thousand GPUs at a farm and you know And once in a while some riser will have an issue 
but that has been fixed so yeah i hope you guys liked the video it's pretty much it for this one make sure you guys go to our channel hit like subscribe you know check out our other social media accounts check out our website cryptolc.org uh setting up uh for various clients so you know maybe you're a client that's out there in europe and you want to uh invest in crypto you want to invest in gpu mining you want to you want to invest in asic mining crypto llc.org you want to take out your money get rid of that garbage euro and put it into something tangible and not you know you know not fiat which everyone knows is absolute garbage so you want to put it in real items real assets you want to put it in bitcoin all right well that's gonna be it for this video and until next time bye